Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. Okay, so I'm in a very um, awkward location. Unfortunately, I'm not here with my editor. So this is not gonna be your typical classic Joseph Okechuku video. Uh, you're gonna hear some background noise and it's not gonna be professionally done. Uh, but at least you're gonna be able to hear me and see some of the things that I'm about to show you So please bear with all of that and for those of you who have been wondering what had happened That I haven't put out any video of course It has been because of YouTube and like I explained to us the other time YouTube put us on timeout It was about a week timeout because they reached into a video I had done several years ago and just deleted it and then applied a strike to my channel and that was seven days and then I made my video on 2023 and absolutely nothing in that video warranted uh, the video being deleted and a, and a strike being applied to my channel but of course it was deleted and they applied a strike and that gave us another two weeks of timeout. Some of you who saw the video on my Rumble channel must have seen that there was really nothing I said in that video. But of course, they own their you know platform, so whatever they want to do is what they do. So I went on that two weeks timeout, and I couldn't post anything on my channel. And while I was on that timeout, I I got married. <laughs> yeah i got married those of you who follow me on instagram and twitter and stuff must have seen some pictures that i posted um it wasn't meant to be seen it was meant to be a super super quiet and private event but then it went out of my control and then it got seen but it's okay of course i'm telling you right now and maybe in the future if i'm led to i will probably share with you guys some of the sights and sounds of what happened on the day that I got married but for today I want us to look at what happened at the 2023 Grammys it's if they call you shocking scandalous troublesome problematic provocative or dangerous you are definitely on to something that's where you make noise you are yeah thank you it was a night of first kim petrus making history with sam smith for unholy sam graciously wanted me to accept this award because i'm the first uh transgender woman to win this award the Grammys held true to that message of inclusivity. Winning alongside Sam Smith, Kim Petras is the first transgender woman to be honored for best pop duo or group performance. And I just want to thank um, all the incredible transgender legends before me who kicked these doors open for me so I could be here tonight. <laughs> Sponsored by Pfizer. Sponsored by Pfizer, a little devil worship. So let's say you're a modern American who doesn't believe in the supernatural at all. You reject the ideas that have formed the basis of every society in all human history, but you think it's bunk. Good and evil does not exist in the absolute sense. Even if you believe that, and some Americans do, is it really a good idea to mimic devil worship? Because what if it is true? Probably not going to end well, right? No one's asking those questions. Sam Smith, the performer there, has gotten rich doing it. Trans ideology plus Satanism, popular entertainment. Tonight's transgender Satanism brought to you by Pfizer. One of the most popular videos I've ever made is the video I made on the Beast, the Commonwealth Games Beast, yeah? The bull of bow worship, which I broke down so well that even a child could understand what happened on that day i told you in that video that the dawning of a new era has happened a new era has dawned on us and that is the era 
of the worship of Satan. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether you want to argue with that or not. The truth of the matter is that we are now in a post-church era. The era where Satan is going to be openly, like openly worshipped around the world. And they are going to make it so impossible, so difficult for anyone to open the worship the God of heaven. Because it's a switch. As you switch from worshiping God, you switch to worshiping Satan. The system of the world is now being orchestrated and tilted towards the worship of Satan. And they're going to use every single medium. They're going to use every single media, everything at their disposal to promote this worship of Satan. That's why you saw what you saw at the 2023 Grammys where Sam Smith who was once a straight guy and from being straight he suddenly became gay and from being gay he is now non-binary he is neither male nor female and his pronoun is now they not even he or she but they this is that satanic confusion I have made several videos to tell you about and by the time he became they they which the same English people told us is plural one person is now bearing they and they want us to agree to that they want us to believe that but if my child goes to school and writes they for a singular person they're gonna fail him and say he is a dullard that he's not intelligent but they want you and I to believe that they is okay for a singular person if this is not satanic satanic confusion i don't know what is but you already know this it's already rampant it's everywhere in the world so that they guy showed up and wanted the whole world to take part in the worship of his master and his father and his savior the devil and you know they always put it on a global stage where everybody has to take part in it either consciously or unconsciously and that is why most of the time i don't get involved in most of all these things starting with music and corrupt music and all of them i always am very careful what i let into my body my soul and my spirit you see it wasn't even the performance that caught my attention it was what happened before the performance so many of you must have seen this and if you haven't seen it I'll show you. So Sam Sway, before the event, tweets this. He said, this is going to be special. And he put a devil's emoji. This is going to be special. And the devil's emoji, the horns, was attached to that tweet. But then guess what? In response, CBS then said, you can say that again. We are ready to worship. I'm not making this up like you can see there for yourself. You can say that again. We are ready to worship. Worship who? Like I just want to know. Who? Who do you want to worship? And they shamefully deleted that letter. Why did they delete it? But what is it that CBS News knew that the rest of us don't know? I have been telling you, the mainstream media, the mainstream industries, the entertainment industry, and all these big corporate organizations, they were all built, built in readiness for the conveyance of satanic ideals into the world and guess who sponsored this satanic worship in broad daylight Pfizer and I'll leave it at that use your brain Sam Smith heading out to go and worship Satan openly for the whole world to see and when, they, when he said it's going to be special, CBS News, your mainstream media, your left-leaning, left-wing mainstream media organization, 
waits in response and says, yes, you can say that again. We are ready to worship who? To worship Sam Smith's Satan. And very soon, if you check some of my videos, you'll see that I have said this several times. The worship of Satan is going to go so mainstream that it will be a commonplace on mainstream news media. CNN, CBS, even Fox. I'm telling you, you'll see it with your own eyes. But before now, they had succeeded in telling you that Satan doesn't exist. That thinking Satan exists is just a figment of your imagination. That's why someone says that the greatest lie ever told is the lie that the devil doesn't exist. That's the greatest lie Satan ever told to mankind. To make them believe he doesn't exist. But every single thing you see, if the devil doesn't exist, how come we have Church of Satan? How come we have Sam Smith openly worshiping Satan? They call it unholy. Look at they, not him now nor her, they and the other Petras, they won the award. Transgender people. Taking plural pronouns. And they are individuals. And you tell me that our world has not all but come to an end. This is why I keep telling believers, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, begin to make radical adjustments because things are not going to be so easy for the people of God in these end times. You have been told by so many self-serving preachers who told you that everything is going to be so beautiful. They paint all these beautiful pictures for you. They don't want you to see the suffering side of what will happen to the believers, the saints of God in the end. They're doing that because they are sent by the devil to confuse you into believing that you are going to have the same destiny with these workers of iniquity. If you do not anticipate that life is going to be tough for God's children, it simply means you have made up your mind to live the life of those who follow Satan. Because there's going to be a religious angle to the satanic worship of the end times, where you will actually begin to do things that look like that of a child of God, but have no power, no connection to the God of heaven. A form of holiness, a form of holiness manufactured to resemble the real holiness, but has nothing to do with the real holiness. The kind of holiness you get when people heap upon themselves preachers who will preach the kind of things they want to hear. That's why the church of God has become so bereft of power. There's no power in the church of God anymore. People don't care about holiness, about salvation anymore. People just go to church to have fun, feel good. It's no longer now about believing, it's about feeling. If it feels great, then we had great church. How, how about your faith? How about your heart, your soul, your spirit? You cannot have life so easy if you are against the plans of the devil for the end time. They want everybody to worship. They've shown you the bull, public stage. They now show you some snake to show you that the worship era has now dawned on us. The Church of England, which of course had never been a church in the first place. It's always been a Freemasonic temple for as long as I know. They just use that term church to confuse those who do not know. They've agreed that now God can be either a male or female no one after all told us whether God was male or female so God can be either he or she so God is probably transgender in the eyes of the Church of England so now they can accept gay marriage in the Church of England these are some of the people who have been allowed to speak into the so-called true churches of God in this end time the Pentecostal movement is corrupted the ecclesiastical movement is corrupted. Everything that has to do with the church of God is corrupted to the core. And the church is gradually endorsing. Go and read the 10 Satanic Commandments by Alice A. Bailey. 
towards the bottom at the bottom i think the item number 10 it says when you have done all these evil get the church to endorse so that it becomes natural law because the church represents the king of glory and that's what is happening today the church is endorsing all these evil are you still hoping that things are gonna get so much better than they are today or are you preparing for eventualities soon you're not gonna be able to buy or sell or travel if you don't have that mark on you mark my words and we are just tiny little inches away from that being activated now we have suddenly become the endangered species we have now become a huge minority the people of God so we need to begin to band together find ourselves out wherever we are begin to band together begin to encourage one another the Bible says that iron sharpness iron that's what these last days are about for us God's children we need to begin to band together your family altar must never suffer get your children most of them you may have to begin to homeschool because now if I begin to make videos of how they have flooded our school system with these satanic agents of darkness, I will not stop. I can make up to part 200 and I won't even be able to finish it up. Almost every school today, they have flooded them. And they're now making children as young as four to go through sex changes without any recourse to their parents, without even getting consent. Then what is the original age of consent for sex? Yet underage can change their sex and their gender. Which world are you living in that you don't understand? This is the end times. Don't take this for granted. Please, I beg you in the name of God, don't take this for granted. Encourage one another in love, in faith, and do not let these things dampen your spirit to the point that you fall away. Let it rather encourage you and give you hope that if the Bible says this thing or said this thing and they are not coming to pass, it means that the faith and the hope to which you have clinged all these years is not a fake hope, it's a real hope. And that promise is going to come through and true for you. The promise of eternity with our king they try to lie to us all along confuse people forget about all these things there's nothing like this all this believing that there's dark and there's light forget that it doesn't matter but look now they're showcasing the darkness everywhere everywhere if there is no light why is there so much darkness <laughs> Pray that God will strengthen you and keep you. Do not be deceived. It is the dawning of a new dark era. And by the time I return to base, I have a whole lot more to share with us. And I pray that God will give you the grace to own up and do what is right when the time is right. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget also to share this video as widely as you possibly can love you with all my heart and God bless you. Bye.